Hi, this is John Schneider with Fargo 3D Printing out at CES 2016, checking out the Form Labs booth, and I'm here with Colin Rainey. You are the chief marketing person. All right, so we have the Form 2 behind us, so why don't you tell us a little bit more about the Form 2 and how it's different than some of your previous models. Sure. So um, this past September, we launched the Form 2. It was sort of a complete rebuild from the ground up of the architecture that we had had in the Form 1, which was, that's actually been the best-selling desktop SLA printer that's ever made, so we've been really happy with it. But there were, we knew we could make a lot of improvements. So what we've done for the Form 2, I'll just kind of walk you through piece by piece. Sure. Inside is an optical engine, and what okay. we've done is we've put a, a laser that's 50% more powerful, and we've built our own custom galvanometers. Those are those mirrors that help guide the laser where they are. Okay. We couldn't find galvanometers that were precise enough to make the, the sort of parts and the pieces and the features that we needed, so we built our own. So inside, that laser fires and guides the galvanometers around up to basically cure the resin that sits in the tray. Now, as you notice, this tray will slide to the side and it will peel the part off with, it she it's a shearing force. Okay. So in the previous printer, there was a hinge peel. So the, the let me see if I can do this right. Uh, basically the, the tray would tilt and it would pull the part off. Okay. This time to separate it, we shear it because that's the lowest uh, force possible. So you can print finer features and you can actually print really thick parts that you can't print on other machines. So one of the bigger things about this is the way that it peels the part. You can actually make things that just don't you can't make on a desktop printer. The other thing is uh, the resin tank is heated. So this way, whether you're in San Diego or Fargo, your, your resin stays the right temperature for the process so it increases the consistency. And finally, that wiper, as it cycles the resin, will clean, will sort of like cycle any sort of, any extra particulates, and it will clean the optical window. So every time it starts, it's like perfect for the print. So the biggest thing, all that technical jargon I've been through, the biggest thing is that this thing is now extremely reliable. One of the dirty, dirty secrets about 3D printing, and you guys know this, is that uh, 3D printers aren't always that reliable. You'll go to bed, uh, you know, starting a print, and you'll wake up in the morning, and it's a nightmare. If it's an FDM thing, there's, there's filament everywhere. If it's a resin thing, there's, you know, things have up. Sorry, screwed up. Um, <laughs> things have screwed up. So the other thing we have is we have a touch screen in the front, so you can sort of navigate your queue or sort of organize your jobs. It's Wi-Fi enabled, so you can print it from anywhere. It's really easy to share it with your teammates. Um, and then finally, there's a dashboard, so it will publish its process to, to the cloud, and you can get notifications to your phone, or you can, if you run a print farm, you can see how things are working on a browser and stuff like that. So it's a lot of stuff, but it is, it's an excellent machine. So very cool. I think one other thing that's new about this, uh, the new resin system yep. for, for loading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. If you could talk a little bit more about that. So one of the other things that we wanted to improve is that when you start pouring resin or anything, it can get sticky. And we wanted to basically create a system that would automatically fill the tank for a couple of reasons. Then you don't have to pause to refill the tank when you print really big parts but you also just clean up the mess. So now the resin comes in a cartridge that looks like this. You simply open the vent and you drop it in and it's done. So, and, and I noticed you just did that while the printer was running. Well, there's already resin in there, so it knows that it's got enough resin. I mean, it will detect that the cartridge is out, but if you want to hot swap it, you totally can. Okay, that's very cool. Um, the other thing to know about the cartridge is that we actually support it open mode. So if you know and you have a lot of we have a, you know you have a lot of printer, printing enthusiasts that want to try and experiment with different resins and we want them to. So if you do use the open mode, all you'll do is open the top and you'll pour the resin right in the tray and you can print anything that you know can be printed with the printer. Okay, that's very cool. I know that that's something that I don't think any of us at Fargo knew that was possible with the form too. Yeah, I mean I think everybody gets really sensitive when they see cartridges because they think you're kind of locking them into a proprietary system. Right. And that was not the point. Our, the reason we designed it this way is to create the best experience possible and the best experience is that you don't ever have to touch the resin. That's fantastic. So post-processing on this, is it very, I mean, same as all other type of SLA printers? I mean, walk us through a little bit of that. A lot of our, a lot of our watchers are very familiar with the FDM process, maybe not so much with SLA. Yeah, so post-processing is a little bit evolved for us. Uh, similar, you pull the part out, you need to, you need to post-cure it in an isopropyl alcohol uh, and sort of remove the supports. We've designed a whole new uh, finish kit, which I don't have with me, but the usability around the finish kit keeps the stickiness down and keeps everything organized, so it's, it's actually, quite better. Okay. Very cool. And we'll continue to work on that. We know that's a thing that we want to improve. Okay, so with the Form 2, pricing, availability, and are the previous products still available? 
Form 1 Plus is still available. It's now been discounted. It's $2,700. The Form 2 is $3,400, and you can buy it now at formlabs.com. We can't make them fast enough right now, so there's a little bit of a delay. I think there's like a six-week delay before you can get one, but it's a great printer. All right. Well, that's a great problem to have. So, again, thanks for, uh, thanks for taking the time to meet with me and looking forward to seeing how the Form 2 performs. Always looks great. You, right. Thank, Thank you. you. First one, so thanks. That was awesome.